हेलो एंड नमस्ते इन कंटिन्यूशन विद द नॉन लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम्स आफ्टर द डिटेल डिस्कशन ऑन द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द लैग्रांजे मल्टीप्लायर्स मेथड एंड प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन द वन इक्वालिटी कंस्ट्रेंट वी आर मूविंग अहेड हाउ टू डील विद द टू इक्वालिटी कंस्ट्रेंट्स नाउ इन दिस एग्जाम्पल लेट मी लेट मी जस्ट गिव यू द एग्जाम्पल हियर द सेम क्वेश्चन वुड रिमेन द सेम नाउ वॉट वुड बी द क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन वुड रिमेन द सेम एंड दिस इज ऑप्टिमाइज Z 4x1 square plus 2x2 uh, square plus x3 square is equal minus 4x1 x2. Again, I have tried to take it here the combination of this term which I have not taken the last question. How the things are going to change with this term that I'll explain you while taking the matrix. Now, again the same thing. What we have done it we have defined L. As I have told you, as we have already discussed that if we have got a two constraints, we have to introduce with two. Uh, Lagrange's Lagrangian multipliers that is lambda one and lambda two. So L we have to form it as this, and this is what we have formed the L as. Now this is this is F. If you'll observe here, this is minus lambda one. This is G one minus lambda two G two. G one is nothing but the first constraint. G two is the second constraint. Taking the RHS side to the other side, LHS side. So do L upon do x one as coming out to be this eight x one. Minus four x two minus lambda one minus two lambda two is equals to zero. Differentiating L with respect to x two, we are going to get something like this. Differentiating L with respect to x three is this the same. Uh, this is these are very simple differentiation, so I am not going to put the time in this explaining the partial differentiations. Please do check, pause the video, try to get do L upon do x one, do L upon do x two, do L upon x three, and so on. Now, if you will observe, this is the first equation, second equation, and third. Now, if you will observe here, it's two x three minus lambda one minus two lambda two is equals to zero. That means we can express x three in terms of lambda one plus two times lambda one. Sorry, lambda one plus two times lambda two as this. Again, if you will observe here in this case, so do l upon do lambda one, that is x one plus x two plus x three minus fifteen is equals to zero. That means this. Similarly, do l upon do lambda one is coming out to be this, which is equals to twenty, and this is coming out to be taking the twenty to the other side. Now, if you observe here, in this case, we have got the value of x three in terms of this. So again, if you uh, take it out, this particular value, okay. So this first equation, eight x one minus four x two minus lambda one minus two lambda two. That means if we we'll combine these two terms and we'll take the minus sign out, we are going to get it 8x1 minus 4x2 minus I have taken minus sign out, so it is coming out to be lambda 1 plus 2 times lambda 2 is equals to zero. But if you we'll observe this lambda 1 plus 2 times lambda 2 is coming out to be 2 times x3, which is 8x1 minus 4x2 plus sorry it's minus right. So it's a minus two x three is equals to zero. So we are going to get the three different value, three, three different equations. Let me just explain those. This is the first equation. This is the second equation. This is the third equation because we need to calculate x one, x two, x three, and the lambda from this particular values. Now it's sufficient for us to calculate just x one, x two, x three. It's not required. We do not require lambda one, lambda two any more here because we have got the got the value of lambda one plus. 2 lambda 2 as 2 x 3, so that means we have got 1, 2, and 3 equations to get x 1, x 2, x 3. Now, therefore, these are the three equations. As I have explained in the last case, this is the equation which we have formed it uh, after putting the value of lambda 1 and lambda 2. Then, after solving these three equations, you can solve this equation directly using the calculator equation mode. Please follow the uh, playlist uh, mathematical tools wherein you can get the information about how to. Uh, solve the simultaneous equations. Then x1 is 11 by 3, x2 is 10 by 3, and x uh, x3 is 8. Now here we have to form here the Hessian matrix. Actually, not exactly the Hessian matrix. It's known as the H matrix. Uh, we are talking here about the bordered Hessian. And when the bordered Hessian will exist, when we have the two one, more than a one constraint, the bordered Hessian matrix will exist. Now H. Is do h1 upon do x1, do h1 upon do x2, and so on. And this is do h2 upon do x1, do h2 upon do x2. Now, what is this? This is nothing but h, and this h is not h1 is nothing but. Suppose, for example, I'll I'll have to take it here. Suppose here, what is this h1 means? H1 is nothing but x1 plus x2 plus x3. 
एच टू इज टू एक्स टू एक्स टू एक्स वन माइनस एक्स टू प्लस टू एक्स थ्री एक्सेप्ट दिस फिफ्टीन एंड ट्वेंटी इन इट इफ वी आर सो एच इज नथिंग बट एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू प्लस एक्स थ्री एंड इफ यू आर टेकिंग दिस माइनस इन टू इट सो वी आर फॉर्मिंग इट आज जी ऑफ एक्स आज एच माइनस फिफ्टीन सो दिस इज एच वन माइनस फिफ्टीन सो दिस इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू गो हेड विथ नाउ वॉट इज दिस so it is 1 1 1 let me let me uh, take those uh, and uh, make you understand so h1 with respect to x1 h1 with respect to x2 h1 with respect to x3 so if you we'll observe here in the first constraint we have got x1 plus x2 plus x3 and second constraint we have got 2x1 minus x2 sorry plus 2x2 x3 and that's the reason we have got the differentiation of them as 1 1 1 2 minus 1 2 this is what we are going to get it from this particular first h matrix then moving ahead with this that is l so same what what we have done is at a delta 3 the same way except the first row and the first column won't be there so we'll be having this as uh, l x1 square l x1 x2 l x1 x3 and this so on we can you can easily check this out what we have explained in the last question follow the i button as i have told you rightly check with this matrix you are going to get the same matrix as i have got it on the screen then hazian border so bordered hazian matrix is nothing but this so i have purposely used the color code here it's a zero matrix h is the matrix of this here h transpose is the transpose of this matrix so if you we'll observe here we have got this as a zero matrix this as the h matrix what we have got it from here this is the transpose of h1 and this matrix is nothing but the matrix q so in this four mat four different matrix along with the four matrix we are going to get or form this bordered hazian matrix this is known as a bordered hazian matrix now what we have to do it n is number of variables that is 3 m number of constraints we have got two constraints over here so we need to check n minus m determinant of the order so now n is 3 m is 2 so we need to have one number of determinant so we need to calculate or check here the sign of only one determinant and what is the order of that determinant that has to be 2 into m plus 1 that is 2 into 2 plus 1 that is coming out to be 5 so we need to calculate the determinant of delta 5 delta 5 or you can say the the matrix or the uh, matrix of order 5 cross 5 we have to check the determinant of this matrix what should be the sign and for that sign i should be checking the sign as minus 1 to the power m m in this case is 2 that is has to be plus 1 okay now that is what i have explained you here and that is you can go ahead this is a delta 5 again uh, as i have told you delta 5 the, to find out the determinant of this if you have another method you can go ahead if the calculator is supporting to calculate the determinant of 5 cross 5 it's good for you but if it is if it is not going ahead with then you can go ahead with few of the transformation as i have told you in the last time also so we'll be taking it as c4 minus c3 and c5 minus c3 so if you we'll observe here we are trying to get this one and this one zero to make this one zeros c4 minus c3 and c5 minus c3 will gives us this determinant now so this determinant this delta 5 has reduced to the further now for this particular determinant if you we'll observe here now we'll be moving ahead or taking it as this and this or otherwise I'll, I'll let me just take you here so this and this we are we are trying to uh, eliminate the third and a fourth row so it's like this we are trying to eliminate to find out this we need to have something like this over here that means it's nothing but minus 1 to the power 3 plus 4 plus 1 because we have used here the third row third uh, third column and the fourth column so it's third this is for 3 this is for 4 and plus 1 is the the uh, this particular formula so r plus s plus 1 to get the uh, the determinant the value of the determinant now while taking this this is third and fourth what we have to do it we have to take the first minor or you can see this as the first as this third fourth along with this because we have taken two and we need to have the determinant to calculate the determinant we should have that as a square matrix that's the reason if you are taking the third and fourth so we have to take it 1 0 2 minus uh, 3 the determinant of this particular matrix then 
eliminating or uh, the neglecting this row and first two uh, this th third and a fourth column and first and second row the remaining elements 1 1 1 first column 2 minus 1 2 second column minus 8 4 2 third column so we are forming this as a 3 cross 3 determinant to calculate this you need to calculate this as a simple uh, calculations that will give us the value or the determinant of this delta 5 as 90 delta 5 as 90 this is also one of the way to calculate the determinant of 5 cross 5 you can check with any any other uh, sim, um, order of a matrix you can go ahead and make some transformations that won't change the value of the determinant that is a property of the determinants and therefore as delta 5 is greater than 0 we will have f, uh, f has a maxima at this value sorry minima at the value and z minimum is coming out to be 820, 820 upon 9 that is what we got it here in this case and this is the self observation slide which is one two questions have been given to you with the two constraints along with the answers please do fall, follow and uh, solve the examples if at all any query any doubt tell me in the comment section stay connected stay tuned thank you happy learning